Welcome to Coffee with Spirit, the podcast where we delve into the mystical world of spirit babies, mediumship, and energy healing. Join me as I share stories and lessons from the spirit realm with a bit of New York realness to enlighten and inspire you on your spiritual journey. I'm your host, Nancy Weiss, psychic medium energy healer. Grab your cup for a quick chat and I'll see you there. Hey there, I'm so happy you're here today. I'm just having some iced coffee because it is freaking hot here. We're dying of like 100 degree heat. All right, maybe it's not 100, but it feels like it in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So I don't know where you are, but I hope it is not as bad as it is here. Um, but I'm in today, and of course I have fuzzy on my lip all of a sudden, but I'm in today, or here today, because I want to talk about a recent Instagram message that I got about signs from Spirit Baby. Now, I had this session with this beautiful client and her daughter, her Spirit Baby came in and she called herself Katarina. Now, I thought that was kind of an interesting name and I can't remember my clients, um, what she is. I think she might be Spanish, but I kind of was thinking Katarina kept me thinking like Russian, but either way, that's the name that came up. And again, I've talked about this before, but names will come up for me and as from a spirit baby. And they may not always be what a parent wants. They'll be like, ew, I would never name my daughter Madison or I would never want this name. But that's the names that these spirit babies give themselves or give to me so that I get, I know more of who they are. So it's a kind of a take it or leave it thing with the names. Again, it's just a name that they get. But she gave herself the name Katharina. I thought it was beautiful. And um, we talked more about into her session and things like that and all the characteristics that came through. So she thought it was interesting, which most mamas do. So I don't remember how long after. It was like a, a, a couple of weeks, a week or two after. And she sends me this, this message. It's like, Nancy, oh my God, I, I get it now. And I'm like, well, what is this about? So a few weeks ago, um, prior to the session, when she was at her IVF clinic, she had a ladybug land on her coat. Okay, so she took that kind of as a sign probably when it happened, right? Then about two weeks later, the day before she sent me this message, when her husband went to the clinic, he had a ladybug land on his shirt and you're like okay so this is a sign right but it got deeper than that and that is when she told me and we both kind of freaked out that she told me Katarina in Spanish means ladybug and I was just in shock like I was in shock like I, I never get tired of hearing these signs but it's like what are the odds of this like you can't make this up and so these beautiful, you know, she's taking this as an incredible sign from her spirit baby that everything is going to be okay. And I think it's just so beautiful. Here's the thing. I feel like we need to pay attention to these things. Like, you know, we have so much life is kind of rushing by us a lot of times. And, you know, Sometimes it takes a lot to put two and two together. So we think about all of the signs that we may be seeing or not paying attention to that actually mean, like that actually really mean something. And I think we can get kind of, um, I'm not sure what the word is, but we can get kind of like jaded with certain things or if that's even the right word or wondering like, yeah, all right, I saw a butterfly. Like, so what does that mean for me? Um, but Take these things as signs. Take these beautiful little things that happen. And then it, it it gives you so much hope and faith. It really does. For me, it did. It was a thing that kept me going. Like to see something like that. To see a certain angel number. To see my daughter's name, Luna, on something. You know, I'd pass by and I'd be like, oh my God, Luna's pizzeria. Like what the heck? You know, when I didn't even, when I wasn't even pregnant yet with her, where I didn't even know how I'd become pregnant, but I had her name picked out. So to see those type of things like that, you know, they're incredible signs and symbols that they are sending us. And now sometimes not all babies are going to just have these outright things. We're going to have to pay attention to how we feel. 
we're going to have to pay attention deep inside of us. You know, do we get the chills when we're kind of doing our meditation and thinking about our child? Um, you know, do we have like an ear kind of ringing? We're hearing a ringing in our ear. Um, do we smell a certain something? Do we see something in public where like, oh my goodness, like, you know, or see something where you see a butterfly or a bumblebee or, an, you know, like an orange butterfly or something very specific? I think it's important to pay attention to those things because they do mean something. The universe is constantly sending us message. Spirit is constantly sending us message where, you know, people talk about, I know my mom is here, you know, who passed away because there's always a cardinal or there were butterflies that day or, you know, the stories get deeper and deeper and deeper um, and even more unique. Um, it's just a matter of us paying attention and actually giving them this recognition that they deserve. All these things help us along the way. Ooh, the, the clock says 333 right now, and that's one of my, my angel numbers. Um, so I love that I saw that just now, but use these things to your benefit. They may seem so simple. They may seem like, well, okay, great. I saw 1111, like now what? What if every time you saw that, it reminded you that everything's gonna be okay? that you're lovingly held by, by your angels and guides, that your spirit baby is thinking about you at the same time. All these things build up and help us in our relationship with them and how we feel within ourselves. So see what you can do. Sit down, you know, take some meditation time, or even if you don't want to call it meditation because that like makes you feel like, I can't meditate, just sit quietly, put some music on, sit quietly and listen or pay attention or ask them for something. Um, the more we do this, the more we grow to trust our intuition, the signs and knowing that spirit is really there for us. Um, and something interesting happened last night, which is just kind of in the spirit realm world, but I was at a beautiful sound bath with about, I think there were about 16 women, some were in the pool, some were poolside, and we had this beautiful sound bath, so I was relaxing and enjoying all the beautiful vibrational sounds. And in that, I had a dad come to me, and it was a dad to um, a woman that was there. I was like, his daughter is here, and she was a teenager. You know, she was about, uh, a preteen, like 11, 12 years old when her father passed. And so, and then he was showing me what he was doing there. He was always teaching stuff. And so afterwards, I was like, oh, my God, I really, I need to find this person. I need to tell him I, I, I call it a Teresa Caputo. So I had to ter Teresa Caputo it and actually ask and say, hey, ladies, was there, you know, was there someone here that had lost their dad when they were about 11 or 12? And I had a woman say, she was like, yes, it's me. And they're going to find a way right? Spirit is going to find a way, whether it is like directly to you or sometimes for somebody like me, but you know, there's always something happening in the spirit realm. They're, they're always there showing up in our lives. You know what I mean? Bringing in these messages, letting us know that they're there. Um, and I just want you to, I, I want to remind you of that magic. I want you to remind you of the magic of the spirit world, whether Again, whether it comes to spirit babies or whether it comes to loved one in spirits, they're here, they're sending signs, um, they're open to communication, and there's so much love there. Okay, I'll see you next time. Enjoy your coffee. <laughs>